A Lambda function is a resource that you can invoke to run your code in AWS Lambda. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn nine things about AWS Lambda functions. Let's get into it. Number one, you can deploy code to your Lambda function by uploading a zip file archive or by creating and uploading a container image. Number two, once a function is created, you can customize its capabilities by configuring various options. These include triggers, network access, and file system access. Number three, you can use environment variables to adjust your function's behavior without updating the code. Number four, use versions to manage the deployment of your functions. For example, you can publish a new version for beta testing without affecting users of the stable prod version. Number five, you can create one or more aliases for your Lambda function. A Lambda alias is like a pointer to a specific function version. Number six, a Lambda function always runs inside a VPC owned by the Lambda service. The service applies network access and security rules and maintains the VPC automatically. Number seven, you can invoke Lambda functions directly using six different ways. Lambda console, function URL endpoint, Lambda API, AWS SDK, AWS CLI, and AWS Toolkit. Number eight, you can also configure other AWS services to invoke your function in response to events or on a schedule. For example, Amazon S3 can invoke your function when an object is created in an S3 bucket. Last but not the least, number nine. When you invoke a function, you can choose to invoke it synchronously or asynchronously. With synchronous invocation, you wait for the function to process the event and return a response. With asynchronous invocation, Lambda queues the event for processing and returns a response immediately. In summary, AWS Lambda lets you organize your code into Lambda functions that run only when needed and scale automatically. There you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.